Hi, everybody. Uh, I am very glad to be here. We are invited for the second time to the authorities of the conference, and I am very grateful to be here and for the invitation. As you can see, I am not very chromatic not to compete with the conference. Well, uh, we are changing the topic. This is uh, about uh, psychotherapy, about colors in psychotherapy. We name this technique chromo bead or chromo seed. Uh, the translation is so so because bead brain C cerebral integration technique. Okay, this is a poem of Ramon de Campoamor, Spanish poet, 19th century. He said, in this cruel world, nothing is either true or untrue. It all depends on the color of the crystal you look through. And we can see how the world changes when we uh, see uh, through a, a color crystal. And this is a quotation I found in the Magic Mountain. And they wore glasses with colored crystals, green, yellow, or red, supposedly to protect their eyes, but in reality, to protect their hearts. And we change hearts, minds, and physical body with the colors, as you can see. Okay, chromobit, or brain integration technique, in this technique, we use color glasses, 10 different color glasses to treat stress and trauma symptoms and physical symptoms also. We know that in the universe, everything is vibration, light, color, sign. And to understand how chromobit uh, works, we have to uh, go to a brief overlook about light, its neurophysiology, and color and its influence over mind and body. Light. We use color light vibration waves. Hmm? Color light vibration wave restore the alteration of the hulls health, well-being, and harmony in mind and body. These alterations are produced by the lack or excess of different colors absorbed by the body. Mm -hmm. And a few moments of a color like are enough to restore the balance and the in distorted information. Well, the father of the biophoton theory is Fritz Albert Pop. He won the Max Planck Prize in 1976, and he said that light is a biological wave of intercellular communication, a living language. Only one photon can stimulate all the systems, cells, tissues, organs, emotions, minds, mm, entering through the eyes or the skin. Uh, the intensity of the light of a photon is like a candle from 10 miles of distance, as you can see how weak is the intensity, but how powerful is the consequences of the light. First, we are going to see about something about the neurophysiology of light and the five ways lights enter retina to brain. This is taken uh, from works of Dr. Klinghardt. The first way is retina occipital lobe. Occipital lobe has the visual cortex and is the way we translate the information in images. The second is retina hypothalamus. Hypothalamus regulated all the body functions. As you can see, hypothalamus is just above the gland hypophysis or pituitary, and is the master gland, and it regulates all the glands of the body. So acting about hypothalamus, we can influence all the systems of the body. The third way is retina limbic system specifically cerebral amygdala. 
who is the brain area highly reactive to color. Mm? And uh, limbic system regulates emotions and it stores traumatic memories. Fourth way is midbrain, retina midbrain. Is this, the structures of the midbrain are also very uh, sensitive to light and color and are associated with the autonomic system, regulating vision, hearing, motor control, sleep, alertness, temperature regulation. And I, I, the fifth way are particles of the blood that are charged by the light. Albumina is a blood protein. Pigments of the skin, like melanin and fluorescent particles, are loaded with information and travels through the blood to the, uh, all the body, all the parts of the body, regulating functions of the body and metabolism. Well, that is about the physiology of light. And now we are going to see how color influences emotions. Each color has his own wavelengths and frequency. Wavelengths are in nanometers and frequency in hertz. All of you know a lot about this, so I will go in quickly because the, uh, when we finish the presentation, I would like to, somebody comes to try and see how the different colors affect the emotions. Mm -hmm. So you began to think about what uh, em think emotionally disturbing are uh, having you, so you can see how it changed with the different colors. Well, the colors triggers a specific emotional and physical response in the organism. Get say that color produces an immediate effect over emotions. And he introduced magenta in the chromatic circle. Magenta is not present in the spectrum of Newton in the rainbow, but it's present in the nature. This is a photo of my favorite uh, bougainvillea of my garden. This is our color glasses. We use color different nine, uh, ten different colors, and it's not the same to be exposed to a light of color than to look through color glasses, because when we look through color glass, the effect in the perception is faster than when we are exposed to a color light, because the entire way world change. And there is a wide range of conscious and subconscious emotional and physical reactions regarding colors because of its influence over the central nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. For example, blue activates the parasympathetic nervous system, so is sedating, calming, red activates the sympathetic nervous system, it excites. Blue-green, aqua or turquoise, is uh, calming because um, it heals traumatic uh, injuries in mind and in body also. Yellow acts as an antidepressive. Green-yellow is a liver detoxification. And magenta brings deeply buried emotions to conscious level. These are some examples of how the colors act upon the mind and body. No? But it's not so easy because the same color can produce different effects in different people. For example, if we had a traumatic experience and a color is present in the environment when we are uh, in this experience, when we use this color, for example, blue that has a sedative effect, the color excites us because it was linked to the traumatic experience. So, where, where do 
we store the traumatic memories. We store the traumatic memories in the limbic system, specifically right side of the limbic system. And limbic system, we can see how it was so reactive to different colors and has and produce a strong emotional responses. This is Homer complaining about his childhood traumas. Okay, so as color stimulate the limbic system can bring to the conscious traumatic experience from childhood even to the womb, from the womb. It's not, uh, it's frequently that people who are um, working with color glasses for a traumatic experience or a stressful experience go back to the womb and recall memories from the womb. Well, so, the effect of color is very deep, soft, and almost immediate. When the limbic system is reached by the uh, specific colors they need, the entire system is balanced mm? because they connect and reactivate the cerebral synapses that were disconnected by the trauma or the stressful situations. And in a few moments of the right color, the, uh, the entire system, nervous system was reconnecting and the person is enabling to access the, uh, to the consciousness, modifying erroneous emotional patterns and healing the disturbance that stress or trauma had produced. Well, Homer also, you can see how he changed when you see the color glasses, no? It's funny. <laughs> well, at the beginning, we used the color glasses coupled with the sound of the musical notes which are in correspondence with the color. And we used together, both together, the color and the musical note. But then we realized that only the color was enough and has the same, uh, the same, well, sometimes I can find the proper, were the same consequences. Mm -hmm. And it was very easy to manage because you are only changing the glasses and not the note, the musical notes. Okay, how the uh, trauma and stress act upon mind and body. Hmm? How trauma and stress affect the brain. Trauma and stress split the hemispheres, difficult in the exchange of information between them. Uh, Besen Balderkorg was a neurophysiologist that uh, has a lot of studies about trauma, and he found that when a person is thinking about a past trauma, the brain specs show the following change in the brain. First, there are a right activation in the right, there are activation of the right hemisphere, in cerebral amygdala specifically. Then, he saw lesser consumption of oxygen in the left hemisphere, which produced minor activity of the prefrontal lobe, the executive brain, and Broca's area, who is the language motor center. The consequence is that the left hemisphere are disconnected and the person can take uh, right decisions, manage the situation, think clearly. The right hemisphere is overwhelmed because the, is excited and as the motor area of the Broca uh, has lesser consumption of oxygen, it has a lot of difficulty to communicate their feelings and uh, emotions. So they need to work together. Okay, so we need to integrate the, um, the brain affected by trauma and stress. And this is Again, Homer integrating his hemispheres. 
And this is a lady integrated the hemispheres. So when we integrate the hemisphere, when we balance the hemisphere, the left, left hemisphere can offer its positive resources to the right hemisphere where the problem remains frozen, hmm? stored and frozen. And when we connect it and integrate it to each other, cerebral amygdala stop its activations. No amygdala, no fear. Frontal lobe return to its functions, offering positive resources, skills, and solutions to the right hemisphere. Negative emotions, physical sensations, and negative beliefs disappear or suffer a new cognitive or positive meaning. And an integrated brain is like a beautiful symphony. Sounds like a beautiful symphony. Before treatment, the hemispheres are disconnected, left to right. After, they work together, combining their um, functions. So, when we use the color therapy glasses, we produce amazing and positive effects over emotional and physical symptoms also. In conclusion, how does chromobit resolve symptoms? The colors change the dysfunctional information, changing emotions and cognitions into functional ones, balancing the hemispheres and producing brain integration and fixing new and positive emotional and cognitive change how we work with the color glasses. We have 10 color glasses, the seven colors of the rainbow, plus aqua, magenta, and pink. These are the glasses we produce. First, we have to identify the issue to be treated. When we identify the disturbing issue to be treated, we have to evaluate the level of perturbation from zero to 10. Zero is no perturbation, 10 is the most uh, awful perturbation. We have to ask about the negative condition that the person has uh, produced or think about the issue, the negative emotions he or she feels, and the disturbing physical sensation that is uh, accompanied the uh, negative emotions. Those uh, things appear thinking and the negative experience we are treating. We begin using red. We uh, follow the colors of the rainbow. We begin using red color glasses and continue with the sequence of colors from red to violet. Hmm? In each color, we have to wait a few minutes to see how the emotions and the cognitions that appear and are changing. And they also in the features of the face that are changing very quickly. Hmm? Checking the reaction to the color. And we go on with this process to one, two, or three rounds and on all, with all the colors until the situation is fixed. The person change the emotion, disappear the physical sensations, and change the negative conditions into positive ones. If there are any remains or disturbing physical sensations, we can use some other techniques like chromo auriculo that Dr. Aziz will present after meal. And uh, we can to, the, to, how do you say, to help to disappear this sensation. Mm -hmm. Because physical sensations are not uh, good for the person. And in the physical sensation is also some emotional issues uh, there. We have to clear. We can use between the colors stabilizing colors. 
like green, who is a color that, that fix the changes. Aqua is very calming, and pink is a very lovely color. These are the stabilizing colors. And pink, for the ladies, it reduces appetite. So all the ladies use, please, red, uh, rose pink glasses. To round up, trauma and stress produce functional alterations in central nervous system structures. Functional, not structural alterations. Specifically in limbic system, a prefrontal lobe, left prefrontal lobes. And that the consequence of that is emotional and cognitive symptoms altered. With the color, we change these dysfunctional and emotions and cognitions into positive ones, regulating the central nervous system, the autonomic nervous system also, fixing the change and balancing and synchronizes the function of the hemispheres. Okay, we can see now a clinical case, very, very nice. This is a young boy of 18. The first consult was in May 29, and the consulting was for fears in general, shyness, and lack of health confidence signs since childhood. The cause was repeated bullying in her college and his primary and secondary classmates. He's um, planning to go abroad for um, the university and he is very afraid not to, not to be um, able to communicate with his mates in the new situation. Thank you. Uh, the symptoms in, uh, was treating, uh, the symptoms in general was treating with advanced therapies, EMDR, TIC, and any other. In the six sessions, he said that he was the last session of his treatment because he are leaving in the next week. She, sa she said that she has Constantly uneasiness for silly things, facial tics, and frequent outbursts of rage with his parents and friends. So I take the negative belief, and he said, I am not in control of my behavior. The emotion is impotence. The physical sensation is heat in my back, and the degree of discomfort was seven from zero to 10. To 10. Okay, with the red color, he said, oh, the physical sensations rise and bothers me. Why? Because red are a hot color and increase and excite the, the body and the mind. With orange, he said, it's a pity that others have to put up with my conduct. He began to change the cognitions with the second color. With yellow, he said, the heat in my back lowered, but I feel impotent and I should control my behavior. And the discomfort was six. Then I asked him to sit with the yellow glasses on, I forgive myself for my bad behavior and I choose to control it. And it lowers to four. So we put green. Green is a stabilizing colors. I realized that in this moment he need to fix this uh, quotation he said. So when, with green he said, all is more detached, is less important, quieter. The sensation is much lower. Number of discomfort, three. When we pass blue, the next color. He said, quiet, but sensation in my back is a little more intense because the uniform, the, uh, the school was blue and his mates were the person who bull are bullying him, was bullying him all the school uh, classes. 
Well, so we pass to violet, and he said the sensation is calm, more tranquil by, I prefer green. Number three remains. So we change again to green, and he said stable, few sensation, but some discomfort appears. So he is asking to say, even though I don't plainly trust my behavior, I choose to take control of it. Much more tranquil, without any physical symptoms, everything is less intense. I feel more in control, tolerating my anxiety. Level of discomfort, too. Aqua, relief. I could be in control and avoiding the past experience in the future. Number of discomfort, one. Pink, I see myself able to be in control, accepting all the drawbacks. Anyway, these two shall pass, zero. Magenta, because magenta brings to the conscious some thing that was hidden and not um, remember. Hmm? I am completely detached from the problem. I can see the problem from another perspective. I am no longer part of the problem. I feel calm. This is crazy. What the mind can do? Zero discomfort. This session lasts 20 minutes. In a follow-up, three weeks, three months, and a year later, and more than a year because he was a neighbor uh, of my, he lived near my house, so I, I saw uh, the, his parents and they told me about the, how he was um, going on. Hmm? He continued feeling calm without ticks, because ticks were anxiety produced by anxiety and controlling his reactions. Well, that was in 2009, now he is a doctor. <laughs> okay, this is all. Well, the last one. Ah, the bibliography, yes. Well, is anybody volunteer to no to try the glasses? Uh, it's not necessary to say to say what is uh, happening. We can work without saying nothing about the problem. Well, you? No, not very difficult, please, because we are not in a session therapy. We are just showing how the color glasses works. Okay. Ah, very good. <laughs> Applause. Okay. Would you like to tell us about the problem, or you prefer not to do that. Oh, um, too long to explain. Okay. <laughs> Relationships. Okay. Relationships. Do you have any uh, a scene that uh, represent the problem? A scene? A scene. Yes, a memory. Yes. And when you think about this, what do you say in negative about you? The negative cognition about this problem. Confusion, ambiguity, yeah. Uh -huh. I am confused? The situation is confused, and I am confused. You are confused about the situation. And the emotions, negative emotions, when you think about this? Frustration. Frustration. A physical sensation? Your body, where do you feel the frustration? On my surface, my skin. Please, do not cross the legs or the arms. 
The first color we use is red. Put the colors and think about the scene and tell me what happened. Um, it's distracting. I don't think about it. You don't want to think about it? Uh, I'm not thinking about it. Let's, I'm thinking about it less. I don't ask you for the level of disturbance the situation produced. Which number? Which number from zero to ten? Uh, four. Four. Okay. Give me the red, please. Orange. What happened? Think about the situation. What happened? I feel a little happier. It's a little, br little brighter. Yeah. A uh, little optimistic. I, it's just, the frustration's still there, but I feel a little more opt optimistic. Okay, give me the number. Orange. Ah, it's. No, 10 is the worst, and zero is nothing. Okay, then, then change it around. I can put from six to five or four. Four, no, four with orange. Okay, think again and see what happened. Uh, four, three. Um, I'm feeling good. Um, problem's not that much of a problem. Uh, I have other things to worry about. <laughs> uh, you think in other things that are worrying you? I'm a little bit more into the future. Ah, the future of the relationship. Or getting past the relationship. Th thinking about my next relationship. <laughs> He's in the future now. <laughs> okay, a number of disturbance. Green. This is green. You, the number? Oh, uh, three. Three, okay. Green. Oh, this is kind of... If he don't like the color now, take it off. This is blue. <laughs> the No, you, he has not to cross the arms or leg because the hemispheres are crossing and we are working with the different hemispheres without crossing. No? Uh, strange, this is allowing all the background lights co to come on, so it's a little irritating, not because of the color, but because of the room. So, um, better? It's better or worse? Um, if, I'm, if I'm not looking at the bright lights, which are a little irritating, it's about the same. It's, it's like green. You prefer green? It's like green. It's like green. And the number? Five. Yes. Okay. Take it off. And do you remember anything else about the situation that increased the number? Um, Another scene, another memory related to the first memory you recall? I'm kind of not, I'm not there right now. Um, uh, this is kind of interesting, but um, do I think, can I think of another memory? associated with all this. Uh, I, if I wanted to, I could bring one up, yes. I don't ask you that you bring another memory. I ask you if it appears spontaneously. No, no. And what is the, why, at what situation you put five? Um, Feelings, emotions, physical sensations or the, the memory? 
Probably physical sensations. Oh, physical sensations and, uh, and over, all over your body or in, all, in another place? Uh, more, more my chest. Your chest. Yes. Uh, okay. Is this indigo? Think about the situation, take a deep breath, take a deep breath. And see what's, what is happening. This just feels good. <laughs> I like indigo. Um, yeah, this feels good. I like indigo. Problem doesn't seem important. Number? Uh, two. Two, okay. Stay a little bit with this color and let the sensations of relief to increase. Take a deep breath. What happened? Reminded me to breathe. <laughs> Chest is better. I feel a little bit down here in my stomach now, but uh, it just shifted a little bit. Thank you. The other, please let me the glass. Okay, this is violet. 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 Okay, the, think again about the situation. Take a deep breath and see what happens. Uh, I feel stronger. I feel like uh, that I have more power over to work with the situation. The situation is still there, but. I don't feel like retreating. I feel like, you know, moving forward. You can manage it. Uh, I feel like I have options. And how is the confuse, confusion you feel in the first moment? Uh, less confusion because I feel like I have options. Before I felt a little powerless over it. A number, please. Uh, I'm running out of numbers. <laughs> I, I want to say three, but it's less, so it'd have to be like uh, maybe 1.8. You know. Sometimes when the situation is very recent or is uh, going on, the number can be zero because the things continue happening, no? So, well, please, the glass. Turquoise. Aqua. Or turquoise, or please. Okay, take a deep breath and see what is happening with this color to the memory. Um, I'm thinking before the memory, before when things are still good. Um, feeling kind of calm, hopeful, optimistic. Uh, not yet euphoric, but kind of like, a, yeah, I'm feeling okay. One. It's like Only one? Only one. One, one. Oh, no, no, take it. One is okay for the situation or could be zero? Uh, it's one. It's one. And the physical sensation? Um, I feel uh, there's a little bit of an edge, of like, kind of like a silver lining, but I feel good. Any disturbing sensation in your body? Um, just having to try to find it, but a uh, uh, little behind my shoulders. Okay. Okay. Give me my glasses. Uh, rosa, pink. Pink. Pink is a lovely color, color for love. Not uh, physical love, spiritual love. No, see, sí. yes, yes, this. Okay. What happened? Oh, this is kind of curious. Uh, this, this was a love situation. Um, 
the love is still there. Uh, it's kind of spreading around, which is always kind of how I love how I love life. Is my love sort of spreads around, and uh, it's a little bit more personal and not focused. Um, uh, I'll, I'll say zero at this point. And uh, the emotion you. Two. <laughs> well, maybe point two is better than one, <laughs> because it's a different way of no, of uh, observe the situation. It's another phase of the situation. Uh, it's like I'm moving backwards where things were better. Yes. So I can kind of like take another try at this. And the first memory, how is it is? Um, it changed or is the same? It's still there, but it hasn't happened yet. I, I mean, it looks like I'm going to have to still work with it, but uh, I get another chance. Okay. Are you satisfied with the work we have done? Now, are you satisfied with this, yeah. the color glasses? I, 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 am, I am happy to be here. This is why I came. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, this is number two is okay. Okay, for the situation. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's okay, thank you. Ah, he's very... <laughs> you can, you had... You want to come? No, uh, 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 another one to yes. to try the glasses. The lady. The lady. Why? You should. Ah. Ah, question. Come on, come on. Come on. I can't hear. I mean, you start from one color and then you follow a, a fixed list to the end in order to explore. No, no, I... Tiene usted, sigue una lista de colores. Yes, we follow the color of the rainbow. Oh. Red, orange, okay. yellow, uh, green, blue, yeah. indigo, violet, and then we try with the balanced colors. Green, aqua, Magenta, pink. So you try them all. Usted les, les prueba first todos. pass to all them because each color reach a different structure in the brain. In the brain, a tune, tuning this like a tune a piano. We are este, changing uh, different structures of the brain. Has it happened to you to have patients who had a bad disease like cancer, who were healed? Oh, my God. If it happened to you, because I no. know that they, they use colors and patients yes, were healed it, from this, cancer. This is, it, it is, uh, this is necessary, uh, more wide um, treatment. Yes. Okay, what happened with you? Well, um, I am in a phase that I have to take a big decision. I know what I have to do, but I don't have the strength to do it. Trying to do it. And what is the negative cognition you uh, tell you when you think about this? Well, blocks in the body, and especially in the right part of the body. These are physical sensation. I am asked. Okay, it's good. I am asking you for the negative cognitions. What, uh, what do you say about you in negative when you face this situation? The fact that I know what I have to do and I don't do it. It's not, I don't know if I have emotions. You ask me about the emotions I feel? Anger. I don't know exactly what you mean by that. Do you say, I know what I am, uh, I have to do, but I don't. But, and I don't do it. Why? I am weak? Yes, I'm weak. Oh, I am weak. Okay, I am weak. So, 
Can you close your eyes and think about the first time in your life that you said, I am weak, when you learn these words? What happened when it was? It was uh, four years ago, yes. And uh, what happened? Physical, physically, I had lots of problems in the stomach. And you feel weak? Okay. Please. Think in this situation four years ago. Number of disturbance. In the stomach, um, six. Okay. Give me. Orange. Orange. Okay, the same situation, please. What happened? Much brighter. More joyful, I feel much more comfortable. Three. Three? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yellow. More confidence. Uh, more comfort and somehow more power. Number of disturbance about the first situation, they actually? Between two and three. Between two and three, okay. Green to stabilize. Take a deep breath and think about it again. Harmony. Two. Okay. Blue. Okay. Again, think about it. Take a deep breath. What happened? I feel much more calmness in my stomach. Number, again, between two and three. This is indigo. Take a deep breath. Don't cross your hands. I see a lot of positivity. I know that I can do it. Anything else? Uh, I can say I feel power. You feel more power? Okay. Number? Violet. Violet. I feel something like Again, power, but different. The, the prior was more physical, this is more mental. So more, more, um, and the memory of the disease, or the, it disappeared. Disappeared, no feeling. And now the situation you have to decide upon? I feel more confident. You think you can take a good decision? Yes. Give me the glasses. Aqua. What happened? Uh, it's like seeing light coming back in my life. I mean, everything is very harmonic and very bright. You have to face 
it looks like belonging to the past. You have, you have taken the decision now during this work? The pink. The lighter. The red. This, to finish the work with the pink, love. You, you can really feel the love. I mean, uh, the sensation I have is like being in my mother's arms. Yes, so, sweetness. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, thank you. Why not? We have to finish. Yes. Sí. Okay, we have to finish now. Any question? One, one small question. Yes. So now you took this particular trauma and you cleared it to a certain. Yes. Does this transfer to other traumas or you have to do each trauma? Separately. No. When the situation is in the present and is a symptom she has, uh, you, has you have to go back and um, find the, the original trauma. Yeah, because she has experience with uh, disturbance uh, feelings in the stomach and he feels weak. He felt weak in this situation, so now it's reproduced in the face of any other situation. He has to take a decision or something else. Could it be um, non-conscious memory? And could yes. it come up yes. uh, spontaneously without you uh, trying to find or... We, ha we have a technique named uh, um, Foundation, foundation scene that we can access to this unconscious memory, even from the womb. But well, it's not part of this of this uh, training of this exposure. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.